Today I'm going to share my thoughts on my favorite game mechanism in Anachrony. I played Anachrony at a game day that I hosted this past weekend along with a lot of other great games that I'll be talking about this week and next week. Um, and Anachrony uh, has been one of those games where I, I enjoyed my play of it and I've been thinking about it ever since and I can't wait to play again. Uh, because the, the first game, there's a bit of a learning curve, there's a, there's a lot going on, but once you play one round of it, uh, you really catch on to how the game works. Um, there, there's a lot of stuff that I could talk about in Anachrony. The, the game does a really interesting job and a really good job of uh, combining theme with mechanisms. Like uh, the theme of the world is it's, uh, it's in the distant future and to even go outside you need these mech suits to protect you. Um, and so you have to like slot a worker into a mech that you have to charge up and then you send the, the mech out into, into the wild. Um, or you also have your own like underground society, your own little societal place and you don't need a mech suit there. So you can use workers in that area and if you build buildings in that area then you don't need to charge up the mech suits because, because you don't have to go outside, you just put your workers on it. Lovely, lovely tie-ins of theme and mechanisms throughout the game. Uh, there's also some cool time travel stuff happening where you're requesting resources from the future and uh, using them in the present and then when you move to the future you can kind of uh, you you're not traveling back in time but you're when you get to the point when when you send the thing like send water from the future back to the past when you get to the future you can then you then need to have the water so that you can send it back to your past self it's a little complicated but in the game it makes sense my favorite mechanism, though, is something that really isn't hugely tied to many mechanisms, many mecha mechanisms of the game, but it's something that I just happen to really enjoy and 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 thought it was really cool. So uh, I won't go into even overall what this mechanism means in the game, but basically, there's one place in the game where you get to roll two dice. There are different dice. One has um, they they both have different types of icons on them. Uh, one has shapes. I think there's a triangle, a circle, and a square, and one has uh, more descriptive icons, like there's a, a, a microchip on one of them. And what these mean, like if, if I rolled both of these dice and I got like a square with a microchip, I would then take a tile uh, from a pile that I would take a square tile with a microchip on it, and that tile means something in the game. Um, I won't go into that. But you don't roll both dice. This is a really cool thing about it. Instead of rolling both dice, you cho you manually choose one of those two dice, your choice, and you set it exactly how you want it. So say I want the square tile with a microchip, but maybe there's some other square tiles that I'm, I would be okay with getting. I would set the square uh, the shape dice to square, and then I would roll the other die, um, and I would see what I would get. I don't know what it is about this mechanism, but I love it because it gives me a feel of agency. Um, because I have this interesting choice, but there's also the fun of rolling dice. Uh, I, I, I think dice are meant to be rolled, and I love that this, di this mechanism gives me a chance to roll a die and have that random element, while also the agency to control one of them. Um, it's used in a very elegant way in this game, but I would love to see this mechanism used in other games. Like Even as I was playing Anachrony, I was very distracted because I was thinking about how I could use this mechanism in, in any game. Uh, some of the games that I'm designing maybe, but it doesn't, I thought about it, it doesn't really fit with those games. But I love the idea of having two dice that are complementary and uh, the choice to set one of them and then roll the other one to see what happens. Actually, one of the uses I thought of um, would be a kind of a skill, maybe a skill test, where one of the dice is just a, a d6, a one, one through six roll, and the other die has um, maybe some misses and maybe some, uh, like, a, like you hit the target, and then one where you lose life. And so your choice here would be, do you set the, um, set the, the num numerical die to the, a really high number, like a six, um, but leave chance to uh, the rolling of the second die, because if you roll the lose life uh, icon on that die, you're gonna lose six life. Um, but if you don't roll it, then you, then you're doing great because you have six maybe six hits on the, the the creature that you're fighting. Conversely, you could make sure to to set the other die uh, so that you know you're not going to miss, so you know you're going to hit. 
but then it's a complete crapshoot as to whether or not you do much damage at all on, on the normal D6. That's a very rudimentary like first example. I am sure you'll have other ideas in the comments of how this mechanism could be used, or maybe how it is used in other games that I'm not aware of. I'd love to hear about that in the comments. Um, otherwise, uh, I, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Anachrony. If you've played it and you have a favorite mechanism in it that you think uh, is really clever and maybe could be used in other games, I'd love to hear about that as well in the comments. Thanks.